Thank you for tuning in to the Serpentine Creative Channel. I'm your host, Stella Williams, and this is my bargain books guide. Hi again, I'm your host, Stella Williams, paranormal romance author. Um, I'm not just an author, I'm a reader, and if you're anything like me and you like owning lots of books, it can be really taxing on your wallet. So that's why I created this video to show you where I get my quality books on the cheap. So the first place is a place that everybody knows, the library. And not just to check out books that you have to return. Most libraries have a small section of books that are either free or for sale that are just a little bit older, maybe don't get checked out as much, but they're downsizing their collection and these books just didn't make the cut for whatever reason. So you can get books at a good price. You know that they're in excellent quality because they're coming from your library and they have standards, let me tell you. And bonus that the money spent if they're paid books uh, goes towards your library programs and buying new books for your collections. Um, an example is I have this book here, The Raven Warrior. Um, that I got from my library. It was like two bucks. See, it still has library tags in it. Um, it's nice hardcover, not too much damage. It is missing the jacket cover, but other than that, it's pretty good, don't you think? Alright, and then the next place that I like to get books for is the thrift store. Um, there's always people downsizing their collections and donating books, not just to their library, but to Goodwill and those kind of places. So you can find massive selections, full collections, out of print books, anything you can imagine at your local thrift store. And it's pretty cheap. Um, I found Devil May Cry, Sherilyn Kenyon at my local store. Um, it's a little bit worse for wear. You know, the thrift store, you can't guarantee the quality of the book, but uh, just make sure you look through it. Make sure there's no markings or anything that would be a no-go for you. But for the most part, you can get pretty good copies for cheap. So this one was like three bucks. So if you're keeping a total, that's two books, hardcover, good condition, five bucks. Who can beat that? And last but certainly not least, my all-time favorite place to find books is the dollar store. Uh, not many people know that you can get books from the dollar store, um, but you can not, I don't know if all dollar stores carry books. I know the ones in my area do and where my parents live. When I go visit them, I check out their dollar store and they have books. But who can beat brand new books for a dollar? And I have lots of them from the dollar store. Um, so I got this one, Jeanette Gray, Seven Nights of Surrender, paperback, brand new one dollar. Tom Holtz, What's in a Jar. I just really like the cover and it sounds like it's a pretty hilarious book. I haven't read this one yet. Also paperback, also a dollar. Um, this one, if you're familiar with Ishmael Bay, this is not his most popular book, but if you like his work, I found this at the dollar store as well, and this one is a hardcover, so that's pretty nice. One does it. And also, this mystery book I found also because I just kind of like the cover. Also, it's a hardback, 
So if you're keeping track, that's like six books and I spent like 10 bucks. So those are just a few of the places where you can go and get books on the cheap. Those are my favorite places to go. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, well, what about the internet? Um, I personally don't enjoy buying books on the internet used because I can't physically see them. And if I'm going to have books in my house, I want them to be quality books that I'm able to read and enjoy. So going online, it's very hit or miss whether or not you get a good quality book when it's used or cheap. Even if it says great condition, it could get ruined in shipping and it's just a hassle. I'd rather just go pick out the books myself. So that is my bargain books guide. If you have any other places that you like to get books from, feel free to drop it in the comments section below. And don't forget, if you like this video, to subscribe and hit notifications because I will be making more videos, not just as an author talking to writers, but as a book lover talking to fellow book lovers and sharing the books that I love. Right. <laughs> Thanks for watching.